you have taken a lot of heat lately for your position on pit bulls. You have called them devil dogs. You have called them beasts. You have called these dogs evil, Nancy. What do you have to say about your position on pit bulls? Well, I believe I've already made my position very clear. Uh, when pit bulls attack and kill children, even adults, uh, I'm often asked, well, should all dogs be euthanized? That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, Stacy, how often do you see a Chihuahua or a Beagle dog or a King Charles Cavalier maul somebody, eat their face, and kill them? How about never? So my concern is not about saving the dog. My concern is about saving the child. And in this last case, I'm talking about Mia Duran, a four-year-old little girl in her home, snuggling with mommy, watching TV before they go to bed, when out of nowhere, the family dog, a hulking 130-pound pit bull, attacks little Mia, four years old, and starts with her face and kills her. The mom tries to save the little girl from the beast. The child dies. The scene was so horrific, Stacy, that seasoned police officers had to get counseling afterwards. Now, nobody thought there was anything wrong with this pit bull. But I can tell you this much. I don't want my children around pit bulls. I want them to live. So whenever I do a story about saving animals or taking up or defending animals, I never hear a peep. But when yet another pit bull attacks yet another child and kills it or tears its face off, then all the animal rights activists come out. You know what? If they want to do something, they should adopt the pit bulls themselves and let them be in their home. How about that? Is that a suggestion? Well, I mean, is your problem just with pit bulls and Rottweilers, or is it any vicious dog? My problem is with animals that kill. Uh, recently, there was a story about, I believe it was a boa constrictor or python that came down through the vents. There was a pet store and ended up killing at least two little boys that were having a sleepover. Same thing. They can all be put in the same pot and stew. Vicious animals that kill. Yes, people should know better. But these animals, especially Rottweilers and pit bulls, seem to be two of the most, uh, let me just say, repeat offenders. What's your um, thoughts tonight on the people? Because, I mean, I have seen this on social media, Facebook. They are really angry with you on this issue. What do you have to say about the fact that they feel it is the responsibility of the adults and the owners, well, not I, I the Well, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, Stacy. But in this particular case, the pit bull was the family pet. Nobody did anything to provoke it. The little girl was snuggling with mommy watching TV. When out of nowhere, here comes a pit bull that attacks the dog. That's not mommy and daddy's fault. That's the pit bull's fault. Nobody provoked the dog. Nobody bothered the dog, and it did this. I'm sorry. I think it should get the death penalty.